so this is the safest and the securest browser for android bromite so this is it so you can enable the automatic updates i am not enabling it as of now so let's continue and let's see what is new so this is android 13 and bromite is also updated to the new ui and ux you can use the chrome notifications to make things easier you will be able to easily manage media controls and cognito sessions and more so let's continue and let's allow the notifications here we go so this is the new ui ux as you can see it is now pretty much minimalistic and as you can see there are new animations as well so let's go over here top right let's go to settings and you can change the search engine from google to DuckDuckGo, followed by going to passwords and turn off the native device autofilling if you do not want to autofill you can use this option now let's quickly go to addresses and more also here you will be prompted to fill your addresses this is not big of a concern i will recommend you keep it off let's go to privacy and security the first thing you want to actually change over here is always use secure connections which means that https only mode will gonna be enabled after you enable this option followed by using a secure dns i always use a trusted dns provider which is end-to-end -end encrypted I use next DNS always. I will also recommend you to use a good DNS provider. Please do not use your default DNS provider because of security reasons. Let's go down and let's see what are the new features in this update. So please disable the HTTP referral header. You need to disable it because when your browser sends HTTP referral header, it becomes little bit unsecure. Let's enable do not track as well. A browser request will gonna be you know sent with your traffic in order to uh, you know provide you from uh, prevent you from tracking and other things so let's go over here and let's actually test the incognito mode you can always enable the links in incognito and you can just remember the site settings in incognito mode as well so you can use these settings to enhance your privacy on the internet while browsing now let's actually take a look at other features let's go to site settings and here i will gonna be disabling all of the cookies followed by going to the location and disabling the site access to location followed by disabling the camera access followed by disabling the microphone access and the motion sensors and the notifications will gonna be you know uh, disabled by default so javascript git is also disabled also are gonna be disabling the javascript followed by actually uh, you know disabling these ads and pop-ups they are disabled by default in this browser bromide so this is a pretty good thing so protected content is now blocked and i will gonna be blocking other things as well which are not supported in my device for instance the clipboard i do not want to you know give the access to usb neither nfc i want to grant followed by your device use it will gonna be preventing myself from getting tracked over the internet also third party sign in must be off and dark theme for sites is on i will recommend you to keep it on depending on the preferences you have about day and night so let's go back and let's see what are other features so user agent you can spoof your user agent from here so you can enter a valid user agent if you know if you can leave it blank as it is without any issues you can also add a custom home page basically these are the settings directly imported from uh you know from the chrome browser the from the chromium browser so let's go to the application version so this is the application version you can enable the developer options as well so now i think this should be pretty much it now you can continue your regular browsing after actually setting your bromide browser up so i think you guys have liked this video thank you so much for watching i will be seeing you in my very next video peace out